Hello everyone. Welcome to our new video series on MySQL using Python. So in this video series, we will explore how to seamlessly integrate MySQL with Python and perform some operations. So let's first of all, let's take a brief knowledge about the MySQL. Okay. So first of all, MySQL is an open source relational database management system. It means an RDB MS system. Now, what is relational database management system? It is a tabular format uh, data storing database where we can store data in tabular format. It means in rows and columns format. Okay. Now, this MySQL is widely used for storing and managing data in various applications and websites. Okay. Now, the MySQL is known for its scalability, performance, reliability, and ease of use. Now, see. Uh, this MySQL is very integratable, means it can be easily integrated with other programming languages also. It means in Python, it's very easy and in other programming languages also, it's very easy. Okay. Then, uh, so that it makes it easy and popular choice for both the beginners and the experienced developers also. Okay. It means it is very easy to connect also and it's because of that also is very popular amongst the beginner developer also who is working on backend or suppose who want to use the database in their projects okay or in their programs so they can also use the mysql okay and the experienced developers also use mysql now the mysql supports sql for curing and manipulating data now what is this sql it means sequence query language it means the it is a language in which square we give we give queries to our database to our tables and then in uh, in response it returns us with the table or whatever means the value or whatever the query is for okay but in sequence order means you cannot give two or three queries at same time you have to just do it one by one okay so that is the sequence here and then it offers other features also like transactions, indexes, and stored procedures procedures to effect efficiently work with the databases. Okay. So for working with the database, this MySQL is used. Now we will in this video, we are going to look after that how and which library we have to install for connecting MySQL in Python. Okay. Then we'll see how to establish the connection. After establishing the connection, we will see how to create a cursor and then how to execute a query for creating a database and then to show that particular database. Okay. So let's get started. So let's start with our programming first. So first of all, we have to import means we have to install a library that is. So pip is the command which is used to install libraries in python so we have to install pip install mysql connector dash python so you have to execute the cell it could take few minutes or seconds depending on your internet speed so in my case it has been already installed so that's why you can see the message that the requirement already satisfied okay so we have already with us the mysql connector so what we will do, we will just simply import mysql dot connector and we will give our alias name to it. So we will give an alias name con. So each time when we have to use some methods or functions of this library, so we will refer this name. Okay. Instead of writing this mysql dot connector, then now we have imported the library. So we will create the object and then using the con, we are going to now establish the connection. So for establishing the connection, there is a method, there is a function that is connect. Okay. In that function, it takes some parameters. So we have to specify basically our user, then our host, and then the password of our MySQL. Okay. Now one more thing is to be noticed here that you should already have MySQL in your system. Then only this will get connected. So you, as you can see, when I have searched MySQL, so I have installed already the MySQL command line client workbench and cell so you have to also install these things if you want a particular video on that so you can ping me in the comment sections 
means you can comment it. So I'll create a special video for that also. Okay. So you must have MySQL already in your system. Okay. And you remember the password also. Now in the user, you will specify as root. Then you have to define the host also. So you will give the host as local host because by default the host is local host only. And then you have to give the password also. So you'll give the password. So in my case, this is my password. Then after establishing the connection, you have to create a cursor. Okay. First, let's do what before creating the cursor. Uh, let's just check that our connection has been established or not. So what we can do, we can use the conditional statement if, and then we can check for that if my con, my con, then do what print connection established. Okay. So as you can see, it is working means we can see the message connection established means our connection has been established means this line of code is working perfectly. Okay. So now let's just do what let's just create a cursor. So we'll create an object for that. Then on the object my con, we are going to create a cursor. Now you can ask that what is this cursor and why we have to create a cursor. So in Python uh, for executing the queries and for establishing the connection between the this host and your query, the commands which we are going to give, we have to create the cursor because the cursor is responsible to execute the queries. Okay. So let's first of all, we have created the cursor. Now we'll give the query. So for now we will create, we will give the query for creating database. So that query is create database and name of your database. So I'll give CL coding as my database name. So this is the query which you have to give that create database and then the name of that database. Okay. So now your database will be created with this query, but before we have to execute this query. So how we will execute is on this cursor object. CUR. Then there is a method for that. The method name is execute. Inside the execute, we will write the query name. Okay. And then you will execute the cell. So let's just do what? Let's just execute our cell. Okay. So now our database has been created. So I can show you also. Let me open the command line. So it is asking for giving the password. So I'll give my password. So actually this is the command line of MySQL. Okay. So here I'm going to run the query. So databases. Okay. So as you can see, there is the database CL coding here. Okay. That has been created. Okay. Now, if you want to check here only, that means the name of the database, you want to check here. So then what you can do, then again, you have to create a query for that. So you will create a query in that the command which we have given there. So databases that we have to give here. Okay. And now again, we'll use the cursor dot execute. And then we'll write the query here. Okay. But now there is one, uh, there will be one error that if you'll run this query means when you'll run this cell, then it will give you an error that it cannot fetch the results means it cannot face the output. Why? Because that output is in a list format. And for that, you have to use the loops here. So what you can do now, you can use the results means you can create one more object on that. On our cursor, you can apply a method fetch all. Okay. And then now for I in results, now in this results, we have all our means, means we have using this method fetch all. We have all fetch our all the responses. Okay. Of the database names. And now we can use the for loop for printing each of the database one by one. So we have to just simply print I here. And then we'll get the names of our all the database. So we walk CL coding. These are the default information underscore schema. These are by default the databases which are in our system. Okay. 
So now this was how you can create a database and you can see the database. Now after that, you have to close the cursor and close the connection also, which you have established here. So how you will do it? So first the cursor will get closed. So you will use the method close for that. Okay. And then you'll run this cell. Okay. Now your connection has been closed. Now if you run any of these codes, so it will give you an error, programming error. Okay. Because now the cursor is not connected, obviously, because we have closed it. So this is how we have to establish the connection. First, if you have not the library, you will install the library. Then you will import mysql.connector. Then you will establish the connection. Then you will create a cursor. Because if you will not create the cursor, then the query will not get executed. So for executing the queries, you have to create the cursor. Then you have to write the query. Then in the execute method along with the cursor, you have to execute your query and then yes. And then at the end, you have to close the cursor and then the connection also. Okay. So this was a very simple way to connect with the uh, MySQL using Python. I hope you like this video. So stay updated uh, because we are going to in the next part of the video, we'll see how we can create tables. Okay. And insert values, read values. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the